Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to make a release plan. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of the Scrum methodology. It got the following characteristics. It is a set of user stories, usually epic, grouped by releases or versions of the product that are made available to users increases the value of the product being developed. Developing a project plan is necessary because it helps the product owner uh, and the team to decide how much should be developed and how long it will take before have a delivered product. Communicate expectations about what can uh, be developed and in what time so that the rest of the organization can be done an idea. It is used to get an idea of the progress of the product. The concept of release helps the team to focus, uh, gives them a context and avoids move aimlessly uh, from iteration to another. The end of the time box is the opportunity to stop, look for improvement opportunities and reviews and incorporate uh, learn including feedback and is it necessary uh, do it again. It's extremely important before you watch this video that you know what is the scrum methodology and how to develop uh, the user stories. In the um, uh, list of scrum we got all the tutorials so please watch it before uh, you watch this video otherwise it will be very difficult to you to understand how to develop. Okay, so it's extremely important to recollect and plan. That is like the main purpose and objective of this tool. Uh, we got to have the user stories. The user stories are previously made. And like I told you before, please watch the video of how to create the user stories. It's very important that this a release plan is made by the whole team together. Everyone should be doing this. And of course, after we do it, we have to take decisions of what to do and how are we going to program all the releases and all the elements. So of course, this is like very important to the Scrum um, methodology and you have to have the user stories. And you are going to select the most, not all the stories, all, all the user stories are important and are epic. Uh, some of them are pretty average. So the idea is that you pick the best stories, the best ones that could be more helpful in this development. The time box is extremely important because you will um, decide how much time you will take in each iteration so it will help you a lot to be focused and, and make all the development this is the board the board um, is divided in, in different uh, iterations and in different teams but also you can do it uh, digital or you can have it analog uh, it is really up to you how do you feel better? But something that is very important with this tool, you only have to use it if the development that you are making is very complex and it got a lot of different components. Otherwise, I strongly recommend to not do it. Don't use it because it will take a lot of time. It's very difficult and it will take that you have a very trained team. So that, that's very important to keep in mind. So in this row, you will have the teams. Uh, the, this part could grow or could be shorter, depending on how many teams are you working in, in the project. So you could have the team of programming, you could have the team of interface, it's really up of how many teams your project have. Then you will have to start dividing the iteration and the product that you are developing and of course you will have and you will put the different stories and of course you will have to estimate the points of each one the points will allow you to know how much time you will be spending 
in each of the improvements that you want to make. The idea is that the first one, it will have three iterations. The second one will have two iterations. And of course, always you have to estimate the points. It means the time that you will take in each of the different developments so you could focus. Um, the product uh, could have more iterations depending on how complex it is and how many new reviews and feedback we'll get from our users. So that is extremely important, but this is like the main axis. At the end, you will have a result. You will have like the final iteration when you will have the definition. In the definition, you will decide if you will need a new development or otherwise you will have to create and focus in something different. If you will say like, okay, we are done, uh, we don't need a new iteration, we will leave it until here. Uh, that is possible, but also it could be focused on, on something uh, different. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of the release plan, it must be clear the process and time to launch the product. That is like the main purpose and all these user stories and all the time estimate, uh, it will have to be very clear for all the team. This tool is only used in highly complex cases with high resources. That is something very, very important. If you are going to develop something simple uh, that is not very complex, I strongly recommend that you don't use this tool. Uh, track the release plan, uh, let you know how it goes, uh, the project and find out the time and resources are developing and it was planned. So it, that is also very important to keep track if the time is going properly with the first estimation and if they are um, putting the things at, at, at the time that it should be. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Our Udemy courses are already available. You can find the link in the description of, of this video. Uh, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.